Hello, beings of the world. I am Serene Dolphin, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to my channel, and we have reached part six. Uh, but before we go on, I have to tell you, um, you may notice something different. Uh, the main change is that I'm no longer level 12, I'm level 11. And uh, <clears throat> what happened was, yesterday I was recording a video, and I'm not going to get too much into it, but basically what happened was I had to scrap the video. Uh, it was not going to be feasible to get something together for YouTube, and then I had to redo my character from the start. Uh, because I did it all in one go, I didn't have the resting bonuses, so she's not as quite a high of level as she was last time, meaning I don't have my Fist of Fury again, but we'll get it back. Um, so, but hopefully everything goes all right today. I'm crossing my fingers. Uh, I do want to get some content out to you guys, so let's see how this goes. Uh, right now, uh, let's see, what did we do last time? We went to Morning Breeze Village here, and uh, they had a big Hosen problem. They had Hosen to the south, uh, rewriting their wisdoms with paint, and they had Hosen to the north, where uh, G accompanied us, and it was uh, very... Uh, uh, nice of him to do that. I had my first death. Uh, you know, uh, you know, just really needed. And, uh, we, uh, oh, no, no, I didn't die in this one. I died in the, okay, sorry, guys. I, uh, mixing up my playthroughs here. Anyway, it, we had a lot of help, and it was appreciated. And now, while we were doing all the hose and stuff, Asa found out where Da Feng is, the spirit of air. And that's where we left off. We are going to uh, go retrieve him. And this handy quest marker is telling us he is to the south. So away we go. I hope everything else is pretty much the same. I, I try my best to keep everything the same as much as possible um, since the last time. But uh, there might be some differences. If there are, I apologize for that. I, I did my best. So... Uh, here we are, coming up to uh, a shrine-looking thing. This seems conspicuous. I wonder if he's in there. You know, I feel like they didn't need to do all that meditating. They could have just, you know, kind of wandered over here and say, Hmm, look at this shrine. I think this is a great place for a wind spirit to hide. Or air spirit, or whatever. So, alright. And we go. Oh! Wait. We need to wait for the winds to settle, then make a break for the cover of the far hallway. Okay, thank you, Asa, for stopping us. Uh, if you were to go into this mess right now, you would uh, take lots and lots of damage and probably die. Or at least I think that's what happened the last time I did this. Let's give a roll, hurry up. Don't be- oh! Look, somebody died right there. Ooh. How's the weather, Asa? Okay, run, 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 run. Uh, I have been caught off guard. I didn't get here fast enough, and then the winds happened. But nope, we made it this time. What's wrong? Why are you hiding back here? So, uh, in my opinion, Dafeng is the prettiest spirit. I mean, how, how can you, I mean, I just love the glowing white and, uh, sky blue, and, um, Hyo's still the cutest, so, I don't know, big fan of Hyo. Uh, oh, and, I don't know if these are just other Pandora died, or if these are players, or, I don't know. But anyway, what's up, Dafeng? Dafeng looks frightened as you approach but settles a bit at the sound of your voice. All right. In time, Battle for the skies. Da Feng, the spirit of air, is terrified by Zhao Ren, the onyx serpent. We must help him face that fear, or face it for him ourselves. When I told Ji of the serpent, he said he had an idea and would begin preparations outside of the chamber. Despite his rash nature, I must admit, I envy his passion and conviction. Let us go outside and confront the Onyx Serpent. 
defeat Zhao Ren, the Onyx Serpent, with the aid of G's fireworks. Yup. Uh, don't have to worry about wind anymore. Uh, those fireworks we took from the Hosen last time? Yes, this is what G has decided to do. Oh, is there someone fighting him already? I just saw him. Oh, yep. Oh, we're gonna have to wait for it all to restart again. Uh, that's no problem. It's easy. Here he is. So, what we have to do here... Do I need to start a firework? Do I need to provoke? Alright, I provoked. When he's over you, you run to the firework and you set it off. And he's going to sprout these little, uh, 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 whatcha doodles, uh, uh, lightning areas. I think, yeah, you can see them over there. Oh, is he coming to land? He's coming to land. We did enough damage. And then he'll eventually land, and and you go ahead and you attack him. Oh. He knocked us out, and now he's doing this again. So back to this. Oh, he lightninged us. As long as you don't stand in the lightning for too long, it's not going to be a big deal. Oops, I keep forgetting about the one over here. So far away, though. Is he coming to land? No, he's not. Alright. Let's run around here. I think I'm behind. Oh, I think we got him. Okay, this time he's down for good. And we're going to use our touch of death here. Boom. I thought I saw another player around to help us, but I guess not. Maybe that was just, uh... That must have been G. Okay. Well, we did it. Look, Duffang, you don't have to be scared anymore. You see, uh, Asa and G paying their respects. Um, you know, they're not a violence-loving people, and, uh, they only do what they have to do. Uh, I should, you know, we'll, uh, go ahead and pay our respects, too. There you go. You are a magnificent, mag ma I'm sorry, magnificent serpent, and we shall remember you forevermore. It's okay, so you did what you had to do. Where you, pass, you have helped Da Feng, the spirit of air, find his courage. The final spirit has been restored. And we'll get a nice cloak for that. And we finally got our Fist of Fury. Excellent. Um, let's put on this cloak. It's, it's alright. It's a little too gaudy for my taste, but oh well. Worthy of passing. The four elemental spirits will help you speak with the land and uncover its plight, but first, I have one small task to ask of you. Join me, my pupil. Accompany this old Pandaren to the Western Grove. Defeat the Guardian of Elders. Yeah, I don't know um, if you can hear him or not. I don't know how loud it is once it's up on YouTube, but uh, I'm going to assume you can hear them, uh, so you can hear the voice acting. There's going to be a lot of talking this episode, so I'm going to uh, be shutting up during those times and uh, letting them talk. Uh, if not, uh, you can read. Beyond the Elder's Path lies the Wood of Staves, a sacred only the worthy may enter. Of the many ways to prove your worth, I require the simplest of you now. 
I must know that you will fight for our people. I must know that you can keep them safe. Defeat the Guardian of the Elders, and we may pass. Okay. In case you didn't read, he basically says, This is a sacred area. I need to make sure that you will be able to fight for our people, so defeat this guy. And defeat him we shall. With our fist of fury! And our touch of death. Alright, and here we are to the Wood of Staves. A very sacred place. Not very many Pandaren get to go, so we should be very honored. There we are. Help me with a couple of small tasks while I prepare Alright. Forget injury. I do not have the strength of body or will that I once did. I am glad there are noble Pandaren like you to fight on for our people. You've come far, Serendolphin. And he's given us a couple of tasks to do. Unwelcome nature. You face forest sprites in the Dawning Valley, but the forest sprites in this grove are of a different breed, crueler and more dangerous. If you would clear some of these sprites out, the spirits would thank you. Kill eight thorn branch scamps. Ugh, I hate these scamps. Small, but significant. I am tired, Serendolphin. I must rest. We have a ritual to perform, but we require some of the charms from this grove. If you wander the grove, you should see them all over hanging from the trees. If it does not offend one as young as you, will you permit me to sit and recover my strength while you gather these charms? Retrieve eight Kumpai ritual charms. Okay, I thought I saw someone go that way, so maybe I'll go this way. Is there any over- oh, I think I see one in the distance. We'll get some scamps while we're at it anyway. Um, I don't like these scamps. Kind of wanting to dodge them if I can. Just see the one here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, two of them. And, uh, the reason why I don't like them is, uh, because they s exactly that. They spawn, uh, duplicates, and if you don't have an AoE, and especially if you're taking on more than one scamp at a time, which you'll come to find out that happens quite a bit. Um, it can get kind of, uh, kind of nasty, kind of, uh, well, especially if you don't have a healing spell, which we do. It's weak, but we have one. Is there any more over here? No. Oh, I see one over there. So, uh, honestly, um, this, the scams are probably my least favorite quest in all of the Wandering Isles. But that's not saying much, because honestly, I, I'm... I think I did this Wandering Isles starting area first because it's my favorite. Because, as I've said on an earlier video, I just absolutely love um, the Mist of Pandaria expansion. I love the lore. I love the aesthetic. Um, just really big fan. And so, uh, I, uh, oh, let's try to avoid that one. Let's see if we can just get this one here. Um, so, uh, you know, I just really enjoy doing it, and I was so excited to get into it that I was just like, let's, let's go ahead and get into it. Which I guess uh, begs the question, um, 
what uh what starting area is your favorite assuming you play wow uh yeah what what do you like uh go ahead and leave a comment below i'm curious to see um if there's a particular favorite or if uh Or if not, maybe maybe they're all over the place. Uh, can you tell I'm a little bit distracted today? Need to do a little bit better than that. Okay, we only got two more scamps to go. We see a couple running around back here. Let's go ahead and take care of them. Come over here, you. So we can... go. That wasn't too bad. Our health didn't take that much of a hit. You know, I, I'm kind of glad it didn't because honestly I wasn't paying attention to my health whatsoever. So like, uh, they could have totally killed me and I would have been like, where did that come from? Yeah. Sometimes, uh, you'd think I would be a WoW noob. I can be a little bit. And it's extremely tough to die in retail WoW nowadays. Uh, you kind of have to work for it. <laughs> Which, what does that say about me? Since, uh, on the second playthrough I had a death already. Ah, oh, those damn monkeys. Anyway, hello Master Shang -Z. Our greatest triumphs. The spirits thank you, monk. Rest feels good. The burdens of life have become a great weight after so many years. You come through, as you always have. You are truly one of my greatest students. I think you will be something the likes of which the world has never seen. That is some high praise. Maybe on a different character, but on this one, no, I'm just going to be a very simple Pandaren. Doing very simple tasks. All right, passing wisdom. This journey shall soon be yours to undertake without me. Stay for a few moments and listen to an old man's words. Let my knowledge serve as a foundation for yours, that you might be greater than I ever was. Listen to Master Shang Zi. So uh, he's going to talk, and I'll just make sure the chat bubble is visible so that you can read along in case you can't hear him. I hope you can hear him. And we'll get a belt for this. Awesome. For 3,000 years, we have passed the knowledge of our people down. Elder to youth. Master to student. Every elder reaches the day when he must pass on and plant his stave with the staves of his ancestors. Today is the day when my staff joins these wars. Our people have lived the whole of their lives on this great turtle, Shen Zin Su. But not in hundreds of years has anyone spoken to him. Now Shen Zin Su is ill, and we are all in danger. With the help of the elements, you will break the silence. You will speak to him. Asa and G have retrieved the spirits and brought them here. You are to go with them. Speak to the great Shenzin Su and do what must be done to save our people. You come far, my young student. I see within you a great hero. I leave the fate of this land. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, um, so in case you didn't read a quick recap, uh, he, uh, you know, talked about how ancestors always plant their staves in this wood when it's time for them to go, uh, especially those, um, who are, uh, masters and elders and, and, you know, people of import, or Pandaren of import. Uh, he also mentioned that, uh, you know, no one has speak to Shin Sen Su for hundreds of years, so, you know, big honor. Uh, 
we are very honored. And that uh, Asa and G are ready for us. They've retrieved the spirits. We're going to speak to them. And we're going to save the Pandaren on this island. Uh, this wandering island. And he praised us once again, just in case, you know, we uh, aren't sure that we're supposed to be a hero. So we come over here. We see a hot air balloon. We see a couple of flags flying, because what's Pandaria without a couple of flags flying? The spirits are here. We are ready to go whenever you are. And they are ready to go. Or if you want to walk in the woods a while, Asa and I can hang out here. You know, just the two of us. Do not listen to him. We've got work to do. <laughs> oh gee, if this wasn't so important, I, I would probably grant your request. I understand that you might want to get to know Asa better, uh, in case you didn't read that, because you're distracted by this quest window. G was kind of hinting that uh, he wanted to be alone with Asa. Uh, they're kind of interested in each other, or at least they have aspects of each other that they admire. G's a little bit more forthcoming, but he's also a more forthcoming Pandaren. Uh, you know, uh, always ready to have a good time and Asa is very no-nonsense so she'll put aside her feelings for whatever task is at hand uh, you know I guess she would be the modern-day workaholic I suppose passing wisdom I know Saren Dolphin I know such is the way of things well you know Asa it's gonna be okay I'm okay uh, you know everything has its time and uh it was great while it lasted right give me that belt the suffering of shinsen su now is not the time to grieve the balloon is ready and shinsen su awaits we shall be the first pandaren to speak to shinsen su in hundreds of years it is a great honor uh yes i know Board the hot air balloon and speak to Shinsen Su. All right. Hop in. Hop in indeed. All right. And I will once again shut up um, while uh, these Pandaren and Shinsen Su talk. I'll make sure the chat bubbles are within uh, the window. Gee, they were in the wood of Stave. You know where Master Shang is now. Let a Pandoran hope, would you? I'm going to miss the old man. Ji, be respectful when we speak to Shenzhen Su. When am I not respectful? You hurt me, Asa. I might if you embarrass us. Su, we are the descendants of Lu Lang. We've sensed your pain, and we want to help. What ails you, Shenzhen Su? What can we do? I am in pain, but it warms my heart that Lu Lang's grandchildren have not forgotten me. There is a thorn in my side. I cannot remove it. The pain is unbearable. And I can no longer swim straight. Please, grandchildren, can you remove this thorn? So, on my own. Of course, Shenzhen Su. But your shell is large, and I do not know where this thorn could be. It is in the forest, where your feet do not walk. Continue along the mountains, and you will find it. We will find it, and we will remove it. 
You have our word. Thank you, grandchildren. A thorn? Mm. I left my tools at home. How could such a thing cause pain to something so large? We will know soon enough. Seeing what I'm seeing? Is that a boat? It is a boat. A whole airship. A bigger thorn than I was expecting. Those aren't Pandarans out there. They've got no fur. Someone has crashed into our island. Removing this thorn may be more complicated than we thought. We should let Elder Shaopai know. And then plan our next move. And down we go. Boom. Alright, so recap. Um, it started out with some light banner between Asa and G. Um, you know, uh, they they kind of have their back and forth and uh, they get to uh, the turtle he's he's glad to see them uh, and uh, he tells them there's a thorn in his side and at first uh, and we pledged we would remove it um, but we were kind of confused because how in the world can a thorn uh, hurt someone so large I mean they were thinking of a thorn like you know a thorn on a Pandaren or something like that um, but as you saw, it wasn't just a little tiny thorn, it was a whole airship. And as G astutely noticed, uh, the people on there were not Pandaren. Uh, they got no fur. I love that line. Uh, so, uh, they're, uh, they're a little worried about how complicated this is going to be. So, uh, I am bid to go, uh, tell Elder Shaopai of what we know. Who I assume is up here in the temple. He must have uh, come here from Morning Breeze Village. That's where we first met him. And there he is. And the spirits are back. You have, the eyes you have undergone a great honor, much. monk. Have you come back wiser for it? Uh, no? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure what I learned out of that, other than, um, airships are really big. Oh, got a new, uh, got resuscitate, so, uh, we can, uh, revive, uh, dead allies, so that's good. Bidden to greatness, it is up to all of you to remove the thorn from the side of Shin Sin Su. Do not let your differences come between you. Trust in each other. Within the Pei Wu forest is a lone hermit. Head directly to his hut. He knows intimately of the dark things that now lurk in the trees. Open the gates to Pei Wu forest. Alright, sounds good. But uh, I think we're going to leave it right there for today. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and leave a like. If you have criticism or praise, uh, leave a comment. And if you really like what you saw and want to know when more is coming up, uh, go ahead and give a subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate all of you. Uh, thank you for waiting for this video. I know... Um, you know, did not come out in time. So, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I will, uh, see y'all next time and, uh, take care.